Hi guys, sorry this video is kind of late. I have had a lot of you complain about how confusing reason through theory is, and I agree. Um, it's got some really great lessons, but it is not very user friendly. So in this video, we are going to go through the lessons in the chapter, and then I will show you how to get started on the drills, which you will do yourself. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you are, I'm at breezenthrough.com, just click on the link. Then you're gonna go over here to the login button and you are going to log in. And here we go. Your username is Valley and your password is U-N-I-S-O-N-115. -N and you're gonna log in and then you are gonna put your name here for this purpose. I'm gonna put group and group. And this is Cadet Band. Okay. Hopefully you are able to get that far. Okay, then we are gonna scroll down a little bit. We're gonna go to this next gen edition because it's the best edition. It is the new one. It's the one we don't have to download a bunch of stuff. And chapter index. For this chapter, we are going to chapter two Rhythm Basics, and we are going to do the second half. So this is gonna be four, five, and six for the lessons. So what I do is I go to chapter two, go down here, and I'm gonna to go to lessons right here. And notice one, two, three, we're gonna start right on four, five, six, and then I'm gonna show you how to get to the drills and you guys will do that on your own. Right, here we go. Note shapes. Oh, and it's, is it gonna play? No audio, okay, well, flags, that's what these are. They are used for single eighth notes and beams are for more than one. Let's see if this one plays. Nope, okay, we'll just go through it. If you have your notes that are below the middle line, your stem direction is gonna go up. If it's on or above the middle line, you can have them go down. If you have like these four notes and you wanna put a beam there, you can leave this one going up, but you cannot do it with anything above that. So general rule, below the middle line, stem goes up, on or above the middle line, stem goes down. Beamed notes, kind of same thing. Stem position, if it's going up, the stem is on the right. If it's going down, the stem is on the left. If you do it on the other side, it, it just kind of looks weird. All right, then done. Oh, we have gotten through lesson four, that's it. Okay, lesson five, let's start the lesson. And let's see if the audio will work on this. Nope, no audio. This is weird, sometimes it works. Okay, 4-4 four, four time. We also know this is common time with that C symbol. 2-4 time or march time. That's because a lot of the things that they write for the military or when they were um, kind of using music to march to back in the wars, like in the 1800s, they would write it in 2-4 time. It still doesn't wanna play and it's not mine, okay. 3-4 time, waltz time, because this is where you would dance to something. And we are done with lesson five. Lesson six, hearing rhythm. Here we go. You'll hear the rhythm examples being either counted or played in the ear training drills. Learn how to match what you hear with what you see. Okay, so we got the audio working on this one. We're matching what we hear with what we see. So look at these three examples. Which one do you hear? When a rhythm is being played, listen to the beat and then the notes in the rhythm pattern. system 
and count out the notes you hear like this. One, two, three, and four, and. Then select the rhythm pattern that matches your counting. So it would be this one. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, follow these steps. Let's identify this next rhythm. Which one is it going to be? When you hear a rhythm being counted, simply select the rhythm pattern that matches the counting. See if you can match this. One, two, three, and four. Which one is it? One, two, three, and four. Be this one. One, two, three, and four. And that's what you're going to do in one of these drills. All right, so we have finished all of the lessons. Now you guys are gonna go in and do the drills on your own. They're not too hard. If you guys keep messing up and you get a really bad score, don't worry about it, okay? Guys, I totally get it that you're at home, you're alone, you're not with all your friends, this is kind of weird doing it by yourself. Okay, so anyway, let's show you how to get to the drills. So, um, going back. We're going to pretend we're going to go to the main and wait for it to get there because it wants to be slow. All right. So if you are not there already, we are going to Rhythm Basics. We have already done the lessons, so we're going to click this down arrow and you are going to go to the drills. And for this assignment, your drills are... 3A, 4A, and 5A. So, 3A, stem directions, 4A, time signatures, and 5A, ear training. Once you do that, just submit it. Make sure you have your name when you log in, and then I will be able to see your work. Okay, good luck, guys.